Hey guys, so this is here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to uh, Climb to Master. A little bit of a turn, like a dip recently. So I'm hoping today we can kind of pull it back and have some good games. We're starting though with Thresh. And my Thresh, and this is where the, the kind of funny thing is. If you've watched the two recent Thresh episodes, like, Huzz, your Thresh is nuts. Well, it hasn't translated into wins. So I've played four games of Thresh within the last 30 days and I've only won one. Look at the KD though. 3.3 kills, 6.5 deaths, 16.5 assists on average. That's nuts. I've got I average more assists than a Seraphine for God's sake. But unkillable laner, high kill top participation, and aggressive. I just the, the bad with Thresh is the win rate. So hopefully we'll be all right. They have a just stomped Casawin. They've got a cold streak Warwick who doesn't seem to be great. Oh, well, she seems fine. A one trick Orn versus a vulnerable Gwen. Um, we got a good Nocturne, a Yone that doesn't play Yone, and we have an Aphelios. So the first Thresh game I uploaded, uh, that was with an Aphelios, where we absolutely popped off and I did the biggest outplay I probably ever will do on Thresh. But, uh, yeah, we'll see if this Aphelios is as good as that one, because that was, he was a very good Aphelios, to be fair. That helped the situation. But yeah, the combination on my profile, aggressive and unkillable, that's a good combo to have. Hey, Chief Blobfish. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well on this fine day. I'm all I'll say, I'm recording this on the Thursday. If you're an F1 fan, do remind yourselves, like this video is probably going to be uploaded Saturday or Sunday. I don't I don't really know. But this weekend is a, is a very weird weekend for F1. Today, Thursday of me recording this is practice, I think. Maybe it's tomorrow. I don't know. Um, and then... Tomorrow we have qualifying on Friday instead. Saturday we have the sprint race, which is brand new. And then Sunday we have the normal race. So it's a little bit different. Which is kind of spicy. You feel like Aphelios players nowadays are mainly one tricks? Yeah, because they've gotten rid of some of his kit. When the champion is generically strong, everybody's going to play it when uh, or if it's op everyone's gonna play it but when they get rid of mechanics the people that just love the champion oh is it free practice tomorrow oh okay he pressed w he seems quite aggro which is good do you start E or Q? Uh, varies. Q is the generic one to probably go most games, but if like, if you're in a bush and the enemy team is like walking into you at level one, E arguably could be better. Um, I want to hit level two. Oh, is this warded? I didn't see them ward it. They're both warded. Cog did ward at level one. Okay. I didn't catch that. Um. Who spells? Who scales better, Aphelios or Cog? Probably Cog more, but it's not like Aphelios has bad scaling. It's just Cog more is Cog more. There's not really much that beats Cogmore in terms of scaling. They could get good first blood here. This is great. This is great. They're walking right in. Oh, Cephalios doesn't seem fantastic. I also wish he had heal, not exhaust, but whatever. But yeah, again, late game hyper carry champion doing quite a lot of damage in the early game. The season 11 effect. 
Uh, ain't it great? Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Do I go all in for this? The cog's full health, man. Nah, there's too many minions as well. Turn can maybe one shot Cog later. Yeah, possibly. To be fair, it's just going to be a big hook. If I can get a big hook, then Cog hasn't got cleanse. He might go obviously like um, Shimitar or whatever later. But mm. they have a Casa win, so they have a Cogmore and a Casa win. That's going to be and also Orn. That's going to give Orn items like on top of that. So their scaling is kind of insane. Hey, Dymo. But, uh, hey, finished dragon. Oh my god, I found a badge. Holy moly. One of the old founder badges has made their way back into the chat. That's cool. Welcome back. We do have Gwen, though. Obviously, Gwen's scaling is a little bit broken. Oh my god, the minion didn't die. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We could do some auto attacks, my dude. Yeah, we have Yone. Well, again, there's a lot of late game scaling in this in this game, to be fair. As, as I've said many times, there's not really any point just to play early game champs anymore. So that's, you know, play late game scaling champions that still do damage in the early game. That's kind of what you need to do nowadays. Oh yeah, Thresher Felios, I love this combo. Again, we did a video recently highlighting the nice synergy between these two champions. Uh oh. Oh, that took ages. Oh well. Nocturne was really early to go for that fight. He should have waited until we got in a bit position, but he went in. And by the way, he went on the Seraphine and didn't even kill the Seraphine. So, that wasn't great. If we timed it together, we would have killed all of them. And I don't know why he's got a Bramble Best first item. That's odd. That's probably why he didn't kill Seraphine, because he has no damage. Huh. Odd. For Warwick? Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. That's a bit weird still. You need to make sure the champion you're playing as well, you're using the strength of your champion. Nocturne is a killy, duelisty type champ. So, yeah, even if you wanted the anti-healing for the Warwick, probably the, the AD version of it would have been more aligned. Oh, help me. Yeah, so Phalios is bad. But, oh well, there's not much I can do with this guy. He's very slow to do damage. He's getting caught by abilities, and we're getting wrecked by a Cogmore who scales better. Oh dear. And Yone is now losing the 1v1 to a castle win. So this game ain't looking too hot. 
It ain't looking too far. I'd like to try actually fight them now that in theory they don't actually have a few abilities but I'm still on the fence about whether I can trust this Ophelios at all. Yeah, I don't know what's happening mid. For a Yone to be losing lane to a Kassadin, that's odd. Because, you know, everyone has always said, but Huz, play an AD champion against Kassadin. It's never been an actual answer. Kassadin is that strong that it's, it's hardly mattered. In win rates of the matchups, the only AD champion that's ever had an okay win rate versus Kassadin, I think, is Talon. Every other 1v1 win rate, Kassadin's actually had a positive win rate versus AD champ. So, yeah... Nocturnal here would be great. Is <laughs> Yone's legit getting wrecked? Again, he doesn't play Yone. Maybe that's more the problem. But Casa Win is still Casa Win. The head, but the court keyboard. Give him a bit of solo XP. Here we go. And that's how it's done, baby! There you go. And that should give us Dragon. Or it could. Okay, he's mid. Wow, that was a, and he's dead again. This Yone is just starting to like feed like crazy. Oh dear. Okay, whatever. Don't think we're winning this game, unfortunately. Oh well. First game of the day. We can treat it as a warm up. Fed Cassidy is a tough thing to deal with. And not Fed Cassidy is a tough thing to deal with. It's just the champ. One of Riot's golden champions that they'll never nerf properly. For whatever reason. Hey, Hackfad. Nedlio! <clears throat> Nedlio, 26 months, tier 1 sub. Thank you very much, dude. Hope you're doing good. Hey, Neil Moon. How's Gwen? So she's farming well, but she has died to a gank. Which, you know, dying to a gank is fair enough. Might have his mythic. He hasn't bought in a while. Uh oh. Castle Wind was looking to roam. Yeah, Orn's early damage is actually very spicy. His W auto is like, oof. Is Anathema's chains viable on Thresh? You don't need it, probably. Like, the, the nice thing of it, I guess, is you're reducing the tenacity of the target. But I don't think it's a priority item, personally. I could be wrong, obviously, but yeah. <clears throat> An enemy has 
Cool. Nice and smooth. Yeah, Nocturne's doing well. Again, it's a very easy lane to gank for a Thresh. He's a, he's a, I said the, the one thing, I, don't, I think I picked it up on um, camera in, Champus, in the loading screen. Oh god, Coldmore doesn't have cleanse. He should have cleanse. He could instant cleanse a hook and just start running away, but he can't do that if he gets hooked now. Yone's dead. So again, the Yone is... Oh, he's not dead, maybe? He just survived. He's doing it to himself. He keeps going to the fight for Kassadin. Why didn't he go left? I think he could have just gone left. Okay, Warwick could be in here, but he's probably based by now. Ooh. Well, that's unfortunate. They walked into the Fed Cassadin. Hey, Saturn. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a feeding Yone, and now they have a Fed Cassadin. How the hell are we going to win this game? Again, both teams scale insanely well. But Casa win is Casa win, man. seeing the cog and hopefully the Gwen or someone can kill him. Yeah. Cassadin's dead. Can we win the fight now? Probably not because Aphelios died as well. I think oh, well, I think the Cassadin just one shot the Aphelios. Yeah. It's going to be so hard to win man because to kill Cassadin it's going to take most of our damage anyway and then you kill him but then there's still a cog board. There's still everything. This is why you just can't have someone playing Yone and feeding in lane to a Cassadin who's not supposed to win lane. Uh, and you know, again, it might be a bad matchup potentially for Yone, I don't know. But we saw going over to mid lane, the Yone's taking the fights. He could just free farm in mid lane and not feed. But he's like, nah, I'm gonna fight. Really, dude? Hey, Rod Dog. Killed the cog. That's good. And he should be able to kill the cog more. You'd hope. Do you think Castle engage on me? Maybe. Castle is one of one of what are the worst matchups for Yona. Yeah, but you, it, it's still not an excuse to go like one and five or whatever he did in lane. Like for a Cassidy to kill you, he, you know. Especially in lane phase, you have to be fighting him. Just free farm if it's a bad matchup. Free farm and look to roam. That's legit the meta right now. Is our team just ignoring us, by the way? Our team's legit just ignoring us. Oh, I like these people. Hello? Yeah, just surrender, I guess. <sighs> Well, there you go. 
I don't actually know why that Kassa didn't take took that fight, if I'm honest. He's got him. Yone, ladies and gentlemen. So again, if he's that strong with scaling, why was he kept why did he keep fighting in lane? Like obviously, yes, maybe you know, in lane phase a Cassidy's not supposed to win. But we are in season eleven, so you've got to take that into an account. The champ scales like nuts. Jesus Christ. That's mad. Yeah, yeah. I knew he was coming as well. There you go. All right, they're dead. Jesus Christ. Look at the damage in this game. Look at the damage, everybody. It is nuts. That We didn't have Gwen. We legit did not have Gwen in that fight. I know, I've titled a few videos like already the last few months. Like, is there too much damage in League? Yes. The answer is yes. Gwen? Do you care to join us? Get hooked. Hey, Medjay was taken. Get it quick before it does damage. No, come back. No. No. Yes. Hoya. Let's go back. Right, let's get a Zeke's for the Aphelios. Well, this game is turned around. Gwen's still 0-4. But look at Yone, by the way. Like, he was 1-5, and five, remember? Cassadin got fed. You see this? Cassadin has sold his Magi's. The game is turned. That's hilarious. He has sold his Magi's. And yeah, all it took was... Oh, yo, I think uh, yeah, I think it was two items. Oh, Yone's hit two items. Suddenly, he kills the Cassidy in the 1v1, who was fed. He kills the Warwick right after. It's like, ah, well, there we go. So that's sometimes also the point. Don't risk the, the game on the lane phase if it's not going too good for you. Well, the Cassidy got cocky, I think, is the, uh... Ah. The Cassidy got cocky. Um, he got Magi's. He was up to, like, 16 or 18 stacks or something like that. Uh-oh. The annoying thing in this game is it literally feels half the time we just don't have a team. Hey, Mika. That Cogmore I got. Like, I, I hooked a Cogmore. That should be instantly. We win. We kill him. Nice. Jesus Christ, Felios. But, I don't know. No one was there. This Gwen. And now we lose the fight. <laughs> like, this is it's so bad quality league. Like, Yone's by himself. Gwen's got no idea what she's doing. Nocturne was, like, mid or something. Oh, this is so annoying. Well, it's probably quite a free win. Oh, pain. So much pain. Oh, Magi was taken. 600 biddies. You got this. You are a light bringer. Take my energy. Thank you. I will also just say um, a special shout out to you guys, the community. Um, so yesterday when I came back from the gym, the YouTube audience probably doesn't know. But when I came back from the gym, um, I... We did a bit of a, a impromptu charity thing that my trainer, my personal trainer, is doing a charity train pull soon. And what I said yesterday was any donated subs, like gifted subs or biddies yesterday, I'm not going to take. I'm going to just redirect the money to the charity pulls. £577 later or like 700 plus dollars, 
uh, yeah, donated it last night. My trainer freaked out a little bit because his goal was 300 pounds. And we, just us alone, the Huzzy Games community, we gave 577 pounds. So thank you very much, everybody. Um, that it was, it was a really nice thing to be able to do. And I love that I can do stuff like that. It makes me genuinely really... Are you... Go, 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 go. Like, Nocturne, you're split pushing, man. What are you doing? <laughs> These people just don't want to win. Uh... We, we win fights in 5v5. That's the funny thing. We've won fights this game when we're 5v5. But there's always, like, Nocturne is like, I'm not grouping. It's like, what? Uh, it's so annoying. Frustration. Can we still win the game, though? We will continue trying to win the game, but it's just very unlikely. If we just work together, we'd win. But, unfortunately, solo queue is solo queue. So annoying. Yeah, Orn does a lot of damage. For what is supposed to be just a full tank. Just Nocturne needs to stop having the dumb I'm split pushing mentality. It's losing us the game. We've won fights when we're grouping. Yeah, he's rebuying Medjai's. That's so funny. That damage, man. What the hell? He's just walking away. We could look for a pick. We now don't have Gwen. Ooh. Go, buddy. I got the cog ball. Ah, I forgot I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> like, what? These teammates, there's always one person. It's the Gwen or the Nocturne's like, ah, screw it. I don't need to win the game. This is so annoying. We're getting so good picks, and it just doesn't matter because the Gwenel, the Nocturne's like, I don't need to do anything. Oh, it's so irritating to have teammates like this. It just doesn't make sense. I'm pretty sure Nocturne could have got that kill if he just kept auto attacking, by the way. That was weird. Sag. Ugh. Yeah, Oblivion Orb on. Thorn is weird because he's already got a thorn mail. Um, yeah. We shouldn't start fights with the teams the other side of the map. Well, then we just roll over and lose the game anyway. That's the point. If I can see a pick opportunity, that's what I need to do. If, if it's like, don't do anything. If a teammate's the other side of the map, well, then what? It's basically then just going AFK. Bot lane. At least he's getting. No, he's not, because he went back early. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Work together. Here we go. Gwen's here. Gwen's here. Look, okay, so this is kind of a 5v5 team fight now. Obviously, I got caught early. They focused me. But look, hey, look. That's a much better fight. That's a much better fight. And that was out. I didn't even get a pick that fight. Imagine if I got a pick. Imagine if a pick started the fight. It would have been even better. That damage is nuts. Thalios. Wow, your positioning. Hey, Shadow Lucifer. Quick, quick. <sighs> hey, Simil, 
Sim Immy? How's it going? Um Says, hey, hello, Hezzy, I'm a rocking student living currently in the UK. I used to watch your vids when I was in the country to develop my English skills and the accent, so I wanted to thank you for the quality content, even though you hate Aphelios. I don't hate Aphelios. Yeah, hate is a very strong word, guys. And it's sometimes, again, that's where some, I don't know, like, if that's a just a British thing. Again, you'll say, like, oh, I hate that. You don't really hate it. You're just expressing annoyance. I like Aphelios as a champion. I just don't think that this Aphelios is very good. Yeah. What the hell happened to my foot? Look, we just won the fight. Oh my god, Huz, you group and you win a fight. Who said that? I don't know. Whoa, I'm so surprised. I am shocker. You don't need to turn chat on, thank you. Chat is useless. If you think bad teammates are going to pay attention to you in chat, you're probably mistaken. They, bad players don't like bad players don't think they're doing bad. That's a big part of why they're doing bad stuff. Oh my god! Thank you very much, Jolly Boy. Hinting. it. Okay, the Warwick might be tilted. What the hell was that? Yeah, like, a bad teammate isn't going to listen to chat. Don't waste your... Play the best you can. Don't waste your energy typing in chat. You're just going to make yourself feel worse. You're going to make yourself play worse. Thank you very much, Jolly Boy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I didn't need to take that. Again, not a big deal, I guess, in late game, but I still didn't really want to take that. <sighs> Says, I haven't gotten to use the Inichigo Biddy yet, so I had to do it. Thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> I mean, I think my group, my team has finally got it in their minds of, wait, guys, we're doing okay if we're grouping. Timing flashes. You can time flashes with that. You can time flashes without the chat. Got him! Yeah! Let's go! We win. Look! I'm going to upload the video. This game was annoying as hell. But why was it annoying? Because they weren't grouping. Look what happened. We grouped. We instantly won the game. Absolutely mad. It's, again, what is very frustrating is when you know how to win the game. You know, oh, by comp, by everything. If we just group... We win. And then you're seeing it in front of you that they're not grouping. You know how to win the game. And then they group, and then we win. It's like, again, it's a very uh, rewarding feeling that I've got right now. Because it's like, that's how you win the game. Easy peasy. So we won. But holy moly. God damn. Again, if you enjoyed that, guys, and you, you know, from time to time, Huzzy, he still knows what he's talking about from time to time. Or like on the video. I'm going to give this a stayed cool to the Yone. The reason being, he did pretty bad in lane. He lost to a Kassadin. But what he did do is he kept playing, he kept trying to win, and he turned his own game around. That is what I like. Again, you can be annoyed by a Yone going 1-5 and five to a Kassadin, but at least he kept playing to win. And I respect that, so I'll give him the honor. We've hit some really good hooks, by the way, in this game, so I was happy with that. We went 2, 8, 20, plus 17, and damage-wise doing, again, with Thrush, so we're not really built to do damage, but overall, pretty good. But yeah, th again, it does show that games are winnable, but this game could have easily been a loss. People, you know, I even was like, let's just surrender, I guess, if my team's not going to group up, we're not going to use our comp. Our comp, look at our comp, it's a pretty damn good, like, rolling death ball onto a, a mobile Cogmore. 
at Cassadin. Not the best team fighting champion. If you have CC that, oh, a Threshook or um, an E just gets the Cassadin, great. A, a Warwick, the more people around you, stop a Warwick ultimate. If you're alone split pushing, Warwick ultimate is more effective. So grouping was the key here. And yeah, you can see Yone's damage is nuts. As I, as I mentioned, he turned his game around, which is great. But yeah, it does show that even if a game is going bad, you can turn the game around. You just need to do the right thing. And, and you know, people suggested type in chat. Typing in chat does soddle. Like, it would do nothing. Uh, pinging and setting examples is the only way that I think it's worth ever doing. And to be fair, again, just to also mention, millions, like, not millions, but I would say a lot of people in solo queue as well, like me, have chat off anyway. So a lot of the time, you're going to be typing to nothing. Like, mo a lot of people just don't have chat on anymore because it's, it's pointless. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it. Good video. I'm happy about that. If you guys enjoyed the turnaround, the comeback, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.